Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Dreamcast games on your mini system. Now, the minis aren't very powerful. They don't play these games very well. There's a couple that'll play okay. I'm just showing you more as a how-to. Don't get your hopes up. I highly recommend different alternatives to play these games. But if you have to play Dreamcast games on your mini, here's how you do it. Before we get started, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. In HackGCE, you want to go to the kernel tab, then install repair. Click yes. Plug your mini system into your PC while holding reset, power on, and HackGCE will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you are good to go. Our first step is to go to the modules tab and to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the RetroArch tab, select the version of RetroArch you want to use, then click download module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. Scroll down till you get to the Sega systems. The one we're looking for is right here, Flycast Extreme. Once again, download module. Close out the Mod Hub. Go back to the Modules tab and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Flycast and RetroWork. Then click OK. Once they're installed, you'll get this done message. Your games can come in a couple different formats. So you have CDI up here like Illbleed. Or if we go into the Legacy of Kane folder, we have GDI with multiple audio tracks. If you have a game in GDI format, just take that GDI file, drag that into HackGee. You may get this box that pops up asking you to select the core. I'll show you what to do with this in a little bit. For now, close that box. Now if we go to our game in HackGee, right click, show in Windows Explorer, you can see all the audio tracks moved automatically with the GDI file. And you'll do the same thing with your CDI files. Just drag them directly into HackGee. Now we're going to choose our Dreamcast core. So highlight your games, right click, go to select emulation core. On the next window, highlight your games again, select Sega Dreamcast, and then Flycast Extreme. Click apply, then close. You will need to add BIOS files to get these games to run. Dreamcast BIOS files work a little bit differently than others. You have to have them in this DC folder. Within that folder, you have DC underscore boot and underscore flash. Make sure your files are spelled exactly like this. They are lowercase and you have the underscores in the correct spots. Back in Hacksie, we're going to go to our tools tab and open FTP client. We're going to navigate to ETC, Libretro, and System. In this system folder is where you put your BIOS files. We're going to take the whole DC folder, drag it directly in here. Close the system folder. Dreamcast games don't come with their box art automatically added, so we're going to highlight our games, right click, and go to Scrape Selected Games. On the next screen, make sure your game is highlighted, and over on the right, select which box art you want to add. Once you're all set, click OK, and we have our added box art and description. You can see at the bottom here, we don't have enough space on our mini to play these games. You will need external storage. So plug your flash drive into your PC and click export to USB. Select the drive that you're going to use, then click OK. Once they finish transferring, you'll get this done message. Now you're going to take that flash drive, plug it into your OTG adapter, plug your power cord into your OTG adapter, then plug the adapter into your mini. If you're having issues getting these to work, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. Now we're going to head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. And here we are. Another issue you're going to find with Dreamcast games is that you don't have enough buttons on your controller to play these games. So I highly recommend you get another controller such as the Wii Classic controller or an 8-bit Doe controller with dual analogs and four shoulder buttons. If you get the Wii Classic controller, it is plug and play. Generally, games will work directly using that controller and you don't have to mess with RetroArch. I've hooked up my Wii Classic controller. Let's take a look at Illbleed. And once we get into the game, we can start controlling our character with the analog stick. The D-pad is reserved for changing the camera. And I will give it to KMFD Manic. He's done a lot with these cores to make these games run a lot better. I remember when Illbleed used to just struggle so bad on the mini systems this is halfway playable it's not bad it's not full speed but it's still better than i've ever seen it before switching over to legacy of kane soul reaver i will say soul reaver looks amazing when using this core the game is running pretty smooth actually as well not too bad now when it comes to the controls i 
Again, highly recommend you get a controller that works instead of trying to finagle the button remapping and retro work. With a game like this, there are so many buttons that you use. You climb, you attack, you have free look camera movement, you have ducking, you have jumping. There's so many things that you do with Raziel that you really need all those buttons. If you do want to try and mess with the button remaps, here's what you do. You hold select while pushing start. That'll take you into the retro work menu. At the bottom of the quick menu, you have a controls option. Go down to port one controls. And what you're going to do is change the D-pad controls to the analog controls. It's not going to help you with the other buttons, but at least you'll be able to control your character with the D-pad. So let's start with the up D-pad. We're going to enter this. We're going to go down to analog Y minus, and we're going to do the rest for the other directions. Down will be analog Y plus. Left, analog X minus and down analog X plus and we can back out into the game and now I'm controlling Raziel with the d-pad and that's all there is to it remember if you need any help getting this to work you can head over to the rock and the classics discord server or subreddit for help and that's all I have for you guys as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time